Hello child, this is your mad yogi Eileen welcoming you back to the Equinox room. We are going to do a really lovely um, Chandra Namaskar, a moon salutation. But for this flow, you may need to use um, a couple of blocks because we have this pose, the intense side stretch. So if you need blocks, by all means, use your blocks. Or if the hamstrings are really, really tight and you can't straighten up um, your legs, or you just need to pair it back a lot more than what the blocks can offer, you can also use your stool here. So in our intensive stretch, you can hold on to the legs of your stool and lengthen up this way, or even all the way up, and you can even bring your stool as close as you can. Just um, be careful of your ankle if, if any portion of your foot is under the, the stool, like mine is. But you can also do your intense side stretch this way because we are um, encouraging the lengthening out of the hamstrings, especially of the front leg. So both knees are nice and straight without locking, without bowing out the backs of your knees, yeah? So to gain those straight legs and to gain that um, muscle activation, the hug and lift, you can pair back this way. It also applies um, for our triangle poses because we have triangle poses from our intense side stretch. If you have a stool that spans a little wider or even as wide as your mat, you can shift it around and you can do your triangle pose this way, yeah, if you need to. Um, so that's the stool support, should you need it, or you can also have block supports, should you need them. So let's start. When you repeat this flow, you can skip to this point, yeah? So feet one hip width distance apart, approximately two fist width, yeah? Just shake out the body. Just preparing the body for movement from here in a steady Tadasana and I will just momentarily do it facing the camera so you know what's happening. Interlace your fingers, right thumb on top. Yeah? Wave the body up as you wave the arms up. up. Soften your knees, tilt the hips, belly in and up, chest up, flip the hands over and bring your arms up. Deep, full breaths, lengthening up here, open even the neck without hiking the shoulders up to your ears. Yes, yeah? shoulder blades, level of the shoulders are still neutral without depressing the shoulder blades either. Just neutral, palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. From here, we're going to do lateral flexions. Push your hips. If you are this way, push your hips to the right side and let the body come into that big letter C, which is this way, yeah? So lateral flexions, opening up the side of the body, we still move from the hips, initiating the pose from the hips, just like back bends. From here, you are pushing strongly through your right leg and squeezing your right side to lift back up into a neutral upright position. Left hip pushes out to the left side and allow the body to come into that big letter C. Soften your knees, don't lock them, give them some slack and allow it to become a full body movement, not just the ribs opening. The body naturally counterposes itself, so when we push the hips out to the side, the whole open side, in this case the left side of the body, gains a stretch and we can contract the right side even more if you wanted to come into a deep pose. From here, pushing strongly through your left leg and squeezing your left side to lift back up. So we're in this pose. Tadasana, Urna Hastasana, because the hands are up. Right leg steps to the back. And turn to that long horizon of your mat. By the way, my right 
rights are my rights, your rights are your rights, yeah? But if you mirror me for this pose, just flow with me from here. Release your arms, big circle, don't just let them drop. Feel as if you're pressing down into something. You're activating your rhomboids and your trapezius, you're retracting your scapula, Vitruvian man. Follow through by bending your knees, allow your knees and feet to point diagonally forward, yeah? Out diagonally. Exhaling here, adjust your stance, your wide-legged stance as you need to, and bring your arms down. Backs of the hands together, wave your arms up, back into our forearm press. Hands in, zip down your forearms, but lift your elbows away. Don't land your upper arms, the weight of both arms onto your upper chest, yeah? From here, Anchor your legs, triangles with the feet, strongly pressing down, knees pointing out, legs wide, anchor yourself here, distribute your body weight, don't hyperextend your lower back, and twist to the right side from the pubis, navel, sternum, and nose. It's a small movement. The body, the spine, will come into a really deep twist here. From here, back to center, follow through by twisting to the other side, pubis, navel, sternum, nose. It's a subtle movement, but it's quite strong. Notice my opposite leg is not dropping in yet. That's why we're externally rotating the hips. One more per side, center, right side. We'll make it smooth in a bit. Center left side. Coming back to center, bend your knees a little bit more, lead with the crown of your head, forward fold. Separate your hands, adjust your stance as you need to. From here, start with your hands in their strong claw shape, a lot of this as well for this flow. Walk your hands forward to the fullest extension, walking them forward, yeah? I hope you can see that. From here, bring your hands down on the mat. Head between your arms and keep your knees bent, if this is enough, or push to the length of your legs, lengthening out your legs, push through your arms, drifting the body weight towards the back, the feeling is as if someone's holding on to your waist and pulling you to the back. In a wide-legged, short stance, downward-facing dog. It's a different pose. From here, soften your knees, drift your body weight to the right side. Everyone with me, anchor your hands down on the mat, pressing the circles of your hands down. Circle your body weight towards that right corner. Circle forward. Circle down the left side. And you're in a lunge. In a kind of lunge position to the left side. Circle to the back. Back into our wide-legged short stance. Downward facing dog. I hope you can hear me. Bend the left knee. Circling up the left side, circle forward, down the right side, down towards the back, and back into this pose. One more per side, right side. Circling the body and to the back, like you're steering to the left side, back. Up the left side, circle. So when you are circling forward, your arms are perpendicular to the floor, like a plank. And to the back. And back in this pose. Knees bend. Walk your hands back in line with your feet. Allow to move from your heels and turn back to the left side. Turning back to the left side. Keep your knees bent here first. 
And note, this is an important note, this back leg will, is free to turn 45 degrees or 90 degrees, yeah? It will be turning, it will be changing. From here, get your support if you need to. Blocks or your stool. In strong claw hands, elbows pointing to the back, knees and elbows still bent, push to the length of your arms, follow through by pushing to the length of your legs, wave the body up halfway, belly in and up, chest up, head up, and you're already in your intense side stretch. Breathing here. There's a lot of instructions but the flow itself isn't fast either, yeah? From here, soften, elbows bend to the back, soften your knees, back foot drops up to that 90 degree angle, preparing for our triangle. From here, left hand stays on the blade side, on the pinky side of your foot, Right hand, you can remove the block, actually bring the block to the other side because you'll go to that side later. From here, with the knees still bent, your left elbow still bent, push to your arm, push to your legs, wave your left, right arm up, shoulder points up first, then elbow following through with your head if you want to, then your wrist and your hands. In a fast motion, the wave, the arm wave, is this way. Neck here, choose looking up towards your top hand, if your neck is okay, or anywhere that it dictates as it's neutral, but maybe avoiding looking down, yeah? Because unless you really, really need to, in which case you might need some more external support for the cervical spine but when the gaze is looking down unless you're really really highly aware of your body the body will tend to collapse from here enough of me talking we are going to have a really strong body here lengthening out through your legs contract your muscles especially the right side yeah Back of the left hand on the inside of your left leg, push through your left leg and lift yourself up into a high triangle. Breathe here. On your next exhalation, so inhale, exhale, slide yourself back down, sliding triangle, yeah? Right hand, back on your support or down on the mat if you don't need a support. Top arm, circles to the back as you bend your knees, hips and shoulders level. Trying this without your support if you need to, but of course, I threw my other block there. If you still need your support, by all means, waving up halfway. Intense side stretch and exhale, pointing the elbows to the back, hands still on your support, should you need them, or if you want to, walk your hands to the back, fingers pointing to the back, let the head go, but you're still pushing to the length of your arms into the pads of your fingers in this claw shape. So always lengthening down to the length of your foundations. That's what lifts the body up and that's what distributes your weight. From here, exhale, bend your elbows and your knees, turning back to that long horizon of your mat. Reset your wide-legged stance, hands in line with your feet, yeah? Then walk them forward to their fullest extension, hands flat, pressing into the circles of your hands, head in line with your upper arms, and lengthen your legs, pushing to the length of your legs. You can even flick your toes if you want to, to feel the triangle of your feet. Back into our wide-legged, short stance, 
downward facing dog. Soften your knees. Drift the body weight to the left. Circling dog. Circle up. Center with plank arms. Down the right. And to the back. That's one. Bend your right knee. Circling forward. And to the back. That's to one more per side. Left side. Circle up. Circle down. Don't rush. And center. Last one. Right side. Bending the right knee. Circle up. Center. Circle down. And back to the center. Walk your hands back in line with your feet. Bend your knees. Backs of the hands together. Push through your legs, but keeping them bent and come back into our, our wide-legged in a horse stance in a goddess pose. Yeah? From here, horse stance or goddess pose twist to the left side from the pubis, navel, sternum, Nose. Remember to anchor that opposite leg, so um, externally rotate that hip and press down the triangle of your foot. Don't expect a very deep twist. Back to center, right side. Back to center, left side. Back to center, right side. And back to center. From here. Push yourself up. Open your arms. Vitruvian man. Soften down. Bend the knees. Lead with the crown of your head. Back down. Forward fold. Turn on your heels to the right side. Now remember, if you need your blocks or your support, any kind of support, then Bring them here now. Turning the feet, turning on the heels, knees bent. Ex these, the left leg, the left hip will externally rotate to 90 degrees or rotate in for that 45 degree angle. And that leg is free to move, yeah? Finger pads down on the mat, knees bent first. Push to the length of your arms, length of your legs. Waking up. Intense side stretch. Feel for your hips here and bring them level. Distributing your body weight a little bit more to the back leg as well. Exhale, bending the elbows to the back, lowering down. In a, let's call this a humble, intense side stretch. Bowing down. Right hand. Remains on the pinky side of your foot. Left arm will move from here. Knees bent first. Adjust your back leg and push to the leg of your foundations. Waving your left arm up and come into a low triangle pose with a support or a higher triangle pose with a higher support. Up to you. Take your time to get your props as you need to. From here, strong legs contract your muscles. Your right leg is going to push down to help lift the body and your left side is going to contract to lift the body, yeah? Squeeze yourself up, back of the right hand goes on the inside of your right leg and slide in triangle, slide yourself up. Feel for that top arm that it remains in a vertical position. Awareness exercise. Exhale, slide down, right hand back on the pinky side of your leg. Don't leave your, your, your legs stiff here. Micro bend your knees as you move. Top arm sweeps to the back. Down, soften your knees. 
Adjust yourself as you need to, especially the levelness of your hips. From here, your hands can remain in line with your front foot. Wave yourself up halfway first. Lengthening out to the length of your arms, into the, into the pads of your fingers. Feel for that levelness of your hips. So your right hip, push it towards the back a little bit more and a little bit more weight on that left leg. Exhale, bend your elbows to the back. Hands flat with or without your prop. Let your head go. But you're still pushing through the length of your arms to manage that weight, especially on that front leg. Because you're on the back of that knee with all of the attachments and origins of our muscles right here, it might not like that intense stretching. Give it a micro bend and manage the weight. Stay here or walk your hands to the back, fingers pointing to the back, manage the weight in your front leg especially, and let your head go. Deep full breath. From here, soften your knees, walk your hands forward, step up with that left leg. Feet while you put distance apart, soften your knees, balance yourself here in a kind of chair pose, interlace your fingers, left arm on top, wave the body up, belly in and up, flip the hands over, push through the legs, chest up, waving up, hands up, back into this interlace, or Bahastasana. Lengthening up here, from here, lateral flexions once again, and I'll just quickly turn to the camera so you know where we're going. Left hip to the left side, allow the body to come into that big letter C, soften your knees. Don't never lock your knees, especially in lateral flexions. The knees don't go sideways. Squeeze your left side, pushing through your left leg to lift. Follow through by pushing your hips to the right side. Good. Lifting back up. And let's make this nice and smooth. From here, left leg curls up. Step it back, soften your knees. Turn to that long horizon of your mat. Open your arms. Press an invisible something against the length of your arms, Vitruvian man. Follow through by bending your knees, back to the hands together, wave the arms up in our forearm press. Twisting to the right side, navel, sternum, nose, shallow twist, but it's strong for that opposite side of the body. Center, left side. Center, right side, you can dip lower or higher if you want. Center, left side. Back to center, lead with the crown of your head. Wide-legged forward fold. Hands in line with your feet to gain your alignment. Walk your hands and arms forward. Let the head go between the biceps, push to the length of your legs, coming back into this wide-legged, short stance, downward facing dog. Left knee bends, drift the body to the left side. Anchor your hands where they are. Circle up through the left, center, down the right, to the back. Other side, right knee bends, circle upright, center, down left, center to the back. One more per side, left side, circle up, center, circle down, center, right side, circling upright, center, down the left, center. Soften your knees, 
Walk your hands back in. Turning on your heels back to the right side. With or without your props, strong claw hands. Uh, remember, back leg can keep adjusting and waving up halfway. Half lift, intense side stretch. Looking forward, if your neck is okay, or just past that top horizon, short horizon of your mat. Exhale, soften your knees, bend your elbows. Right hand flat, blade side of the foot, back foot, that, that angle can adjust as you need to with your knees and standing elbow bent. Push through their leg as you wave your left arm up in your low triangle. Angle of the neck is up to you. Strong front leg, squeeze your body, especially the left side, back of the right hand on the inside of your right leg and slide yourself up into your high triangle. Slide back down, low triangle. Knees bent as you bring your top arm to the back. Head and hips level, adjust yourself as you need to. High, intense side stretch, the half lift version. Exhale, waving down, humble intense side stretch. Hands in line with your front foot or towards the back, remembering the activation of your arms. Or if you're okay, if your legs and balance are okay, you can lightly hold on to your ankle and let your head and body go even deeper on top of your right leg. More challenge for the balance and the activation of the legs and awareness, especially for that front leg, that front knee. If you held on to you, the underside of your calf, of your leg, release, hands down. Push yourself up, especially if you went really deep. Soften your knees and turn back to the low horizon of your mat. Gain your alignment, hands in that line between your feet. Extend your arms forward. One-legged short stance, downward facing dog. Or, as I call it, the pyramid dog. That's a reference from now on, pyramid dog. Soften your knees and your elbows, hands connected to the mat. Drift to the left. Circle up, down the right and back, circle in pyramid dog, right side, up, down the left, and back, left side circle up, down the right, and back, don't rush, enjoy this movement, right side, center, Circle down the left and back. Soften your knees. Walk your hands in. Strong legs. Back to the hands together. Wave yourself up into your goddess pose. Twisting left side first. Twist left. Center. Twist right. Center, higher low, twist left. Center, twist right. Center. Push through the length of your legs. Open your arms up like a spear. Palms released, point out. And press an invisible something against the length of your arms. Vitruvian man, just for a moment. Then soften back down, bend your knees, hands down, 
head down. Turning to the left side. Intense side stretch legs. Claw hands in line with your front foot, body weight distributed between your feet, waving up halfway. Half lift or high intense side stretch. Exhale, coming back down, deeper intense side stretch. Left hand flat, knees bend first, and wave up. Low triangle. Squeeze yourself back up, back of the left hand and the inside of your left leg. High triangle. Slide back down, swallow sliding triangle. Low triangle. Knees soften, top arms circles to the back. And down, level your hips, level your shoulders, waving up halfway. High, intense side stretch. Exhaling down. Support your body weight, manage that weight. Hands in line with your front foot. Hands towards the back. Or if balance, and deep awareness of the body, of the self is there. Hands lightly holding on to your front ankle and let the head go. Check in that it isn't the ego that's pushing you into our more challenging process, yeah? Check in that it's a genuine invitation for the body to come into more challenging poses for the heart and the mind to come along with it. If one of those three aspects of ourself isn't ready, we pair it back. Release the pose, soften your elbows and your knees, and step up to that short horizon of your mat. Knees bend. Interlace your fingers, right thumb on top, press the palms away as you wave yourself up. Interlaced Urdhva Hastasana, lengthening up here. Now let's make it even smoother, but rest whenever you need to. Lateral flexion to the right side, right hip initiates the movement, big letter C. Squeeze the right side, lateral flexion, left side. Squeeze yourself to lift up, right leg lifts up, curls up and steps back. Wide legged stance, turn to the low horizon of your mat. From here, open up Vitruvian Man. Soften your knees, hands down, backs of the hands together, goddess pose, high or low, up to you. Shallow twist, right side. Center, left side. Center, right side. Center, left side. Center, Bow down. Hands in line with your feet. Let the head go a moment in this wide-legged forward fold. Extend your arms forward. Head in line with your biceps. Push to the length of your legs and drift your body weight a little bit towards the back. Pyramid dog. Drift to the right side. Circle dog. Up to center, plank arms, down the left, and center. Left side, circle up, breathe, circle down, center. Right side, circling up, center, circle down, 
center. Left side circling up, center, circle down, center. Soften your knees, walk your hands back in. Turn to the left foot. Adjust your feet, waving up halfway, high intense side stretch or a side stretch, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, intense deep side stretch. Left hand flat, soften your knees and elbow, unfurl the body up and open deep. Triangle. Sliding triangle up into your high triangle. Sliding triangle down to your deep triangle. Soften your elbows and knees. Wave your right arm back, back down. Hips and shoulders level. High intense side stretch. Deep, intense side stretch. Position your hands wherever they will manage your weight and your balance. In line with your front foot. Towards the back with the fingers pointing back or holding on to your front leg. Breathing. Release the pulse. Soften your knees, turning back, low horizon of your mat. Gain your alignment, extend your arms forward and push back. Pyramid dog. Breathing, don't rush. From the left side, circling dog up, starting with the left. Down, center, right side up, down, center, that's to the back, left side circling, up, down, center, right side circle up, down, center, soften your knees, walk your hands back in, back to the hands in, waving up, goddess stance, to the left, twist, shallow twist, shallow goddess stance, twist, center, right, Center, left, center, right, center, push yourself up, open up, Vitruvian man. Lengthening up here, squeezing your body, even in this open pose, and soften down, turn to your right side. Reset the body for your intense side stretch. Waving up. High intense side stretch. As we did. Exhale. Deep intense side stretch. Right hand flat. Soften your knees. Then unfurl the body up and open in your deep triangle. Moon salutations are really nice to just enjoy the poses and the slow movement. Strong body, sliding up, high triangle, lengthening up here, sliding back down, low triangle, deep triangle, soften your knees to the top arm to the back and down, Hips and shoulders level, waving up, 
high intense side stretch and exhale deep intense side stretch choose where your hands want to be in line with your foot towards the back and manage your weight or holding on to your front leg deep full breath Release the pose, soften your knees, step up. Chandra Uttanasana, knees bent, belly on the thighs, let your head go. Interlace your fingers, left on top. Wave yourself up. Urvahastasana, with interlaced fingers. Push your hips, lateral flexion, left side as we did. Squeezing yourself up, right side, lateral flexion. Squeeze up, left leg steps back. Open to the long horizon of your mat, Vitruvian man. Bend your knees, transition, backs of the hands in. Goddess pose. Shallow goddess pose twist. Right side. Center. Left side. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Bow down. Extend your arms forward, pyramid dog. Circling pyramid dog, right side. Circle up center, down the left, center. Circle up left, center, down right. Center, up, right, center, left, center, right side, center, down, and center. Soften your knees, walk your hands back in. Turn back, right foot to the right foot. High, intense side stretch. As we did. Exhale. Deep, intense side stretch. Right hand down. Open up. Deep triangle. Remembering to prepare by bending your knees and your elbows. Strong body, contracting your muscles, sliding triangle up, sliding triangle back down, and come out of the pose, back into your intense side stretch prep, and waving up High intense side stretch. Deep intense side stretch. Choose where you want your hands to be. Release the pose. Soften your knees. Turning back. Long horizon of your mat. Prepare for the movement. Extend your arms and come back. Pyramid dog. To the left side, just two per side. Left side. Circle up. Circle down, right. Center. Right 
right side. We know what to do now. Circling, don't rush. Center towards the back. Left side. Down right. Center. Last one. Right side. Circle the body and back. Pyramid dog. Knees bent. Walk your hands back in line with your with your feet. Adjust as you need to. Backs of the hands in. Wave yourself up. Strong foundations. Back to your goddess pose. Goddess pose twist. Left side. Center, right, center, left, center, right, center. Open up, Vitruvian man. Soften back down to your left side. Turning to the left. Adjust your stance. High intense side stretch as you did. Deep intense side stretch. Left hand flat. Open up in your deep triangle. Sliding triangle up, don't rush, reaching up, sliding triangle down, deep triangle. Release the pose, remember to soften your knees, hips and shoulders level. Intense side stretch, waving up halfway. Exhale, deep, intense side stretch. Determine where you want your hands to rest. Release the pose, soften your knees. From here, hands flat, soften your knees and step back, full plank. Knees down, untuck your toes, press back, extended child's pose. Feel the strength of your arms here, circle to the head, still pressing down, your elbows are lifting up and your arms are lengthening forward. Deep full breath. From here, wave the body up halfway, chest up, head up, just so you can see, you can spot where you're going. With your elbows pointing to the back, drift yourself forward and all the way down, belly down on the mat. Adjust yourself here on the mat as you need to, hands stack on top of each other, forehead down on your top hand. And you can shake your hips side to side here. And steady back to center. Allow your heels to flop. Have a few breaths here. You can even pause the video. Just have a few breaths here. Shaking the hips side to side every now and then. It's a nice abdominal massage as well. Then when you're ready, flip over. Turning over. Ding, we're done. <laughs> down on your back. And as per usual, if you have a ponytail, just move it out of the way. Once your back is nice and flat, Hug your knees in. Sacroiliac joint massage. Our old favorite. 
just resetting the SI joint. Very important. And from here, hugging your knees in, bring your feet down in the mat, slide them down, arms nice and open, deep full breath, exhale with a sigh as you close your eyes. <sighs> And let your senses just drop down into your shavasana.